Hey, check it out! Your bones are designed to be used a lot every day. Some of them can absorb the force of two or even three times your body weight. That's impressive, but your teeth are even stronger. When you bite something, they can withstand incredible pressure, up to 200 pounds. By the way, the enamel is considered to be a part of your skeletal system. Whenever you rotate your hand, the bones inside your forearm cross. Grab hold of your arm and turn your palm to face first upward and then downward. You'll make sure it's true. Not only is your body 60% water, your bones contain some liquid too. About 25% of the human bone mass is made up of water. The human eye has something in common with a car engine. They both can't work properly without various liquids. The eye needs tears as much as the engine needs oil. Tears should be evenly spread over the surface of your eye. That's why you blink up to 20,000 times a day, and your eyelid plays the role of a windshield wiper. The only part of the human body that doesn't get any nutrients from blood is the cornea, the clear front surface of the eye. Instead, it's fed by tears on the outside and special fluids on the inside. When you blush, it means there is increased blood flow in your body. And then, not only your cheeks, but also your stomach lining gets somewhat red. It's because it has plenty of blood vessels. When there's more blood than usual in them, the lining blushes. Your stomach lining gets replaced every 3-4 to four days. This prevents the organ from eating itself. The digestive acids there are exceptionally powerful. People can accidentally swallow small objects, such as glass, plastic items, coins, and many others. Normally, they don't cause any harm and pass through the digestive tract within 48 hours. Tiny quantities of plastic you might consume by mistake won't harm you. But your stomach will have problems with digesting grass. Grazing animals have special teeth and stomachs to process raw leaves and grass. People aren't equipped that way. The stomach is the most important protector of the immune system. It contains hydrochloric acid. This acid gets rid of dangerous food toxins, viruses, and bacteria that come along with the food you eat. The stomach itself would be digested by this strong acid if the mucous membrane didn't protect it. You've got two really fast muscles. They control your eyelids closing. They're the swiftest in your body. Your eyes are fragile and need protection. When a special reflex is triggered, for example, when something suddenly touches your eye, these muscles only need one-tenth of a second to shut the eyelids. Women usually blink more than men. Plus, the older you get, the more frequently you do it. By the way, when you watch a movie with a friend, you both blink in unison. Do you think you owe your firm handshake to your strength workouts? It's more likely thanks to your pinky. Eh, just kidding. And still, the pinky is the strongest finger out there. It's responsible for 50% of the entire hand strength. But the most used finger is the thumb. If a person loses it, their hand becomes 40% less agile. Oh, and the thumb has its own pulse, thanks to the artery running through it. Your big toes carry more than 40% of your weight, more than all the other toes combined. All in all, all your toes are a big deal. They provide support and balance when you walk. And when you run, they help you to be faster. No more than 2% of people have natural red hair. They're followed by blondes, about 3%, and all kinds of brown shades, about 11%. But the world's most common hair colors are black and dark brown. Hair is almost indestructible. It can be burned or affected by strong acids, but that's pretty much all you can do to destroy it. Your hair usually stops growing at a certain length, and since a hair lives for 2 to 7 years, its length doesn't normally exceed 42 inches. Tell that to this lady from China, who got to the Guinness World Records with the longest hair ever. In 2004, it was a bit more than 18 feet 5 inches long. Wow, what a drag! (laughs) Nails can grow staggeringly long, too. Some of the longest nails in the world belong to this guy from India. Their combined length was 29 feet 10 inches, which is almost as long as a London double-decker. The man cut them off back in 2018. Nailed it! Nails do help us catch small objects and peel stickers off, but that's not all. If you didn't have a rigid structure to press against, you wouldn't be able to understand how firmly you should hold things. Not only your hair and nails, but also your liver can grow. 
It's the largest internal organ by mass. The liver can fully regenerate from only 51% of its original mass back to the full size. At the same time, constant damage to the liver will result in scars. The largest organ in your whole body is the skin. It makes up more than 15% of your total body weight. People lose 30,000 to 40,000 skin cells every single minute. It adds up to 9 pounds of skin cells a year. You know that dust in your house? Well, now you know where some of it comes from. The tongue isn't the only organ that helps you recognize taste. Your nose also plays a critical role in this process. It's often said the nose is responsible for 75 to 95% of your taste perception. Try holding your nose next time you eat. Gnaw on an onion or eat some smoked fish. It's not that you won't feel any taste at all, but it's going to be way blander. Your taste buds won't work properly if your mouth is too dry. You simply won't feel the taste until the food is covered in saliva. It contains enzymes, which are complex protein molecules. They start to break down your food as soon as it gets into your mouth. A recent study has found out that people can distinguish more than a trillion smells. You tend to remember odors better than sounds or images. That's why smells can evoke distant memories. When you're asleep, you don't feel any odors. Your sense of smell basically deactivates at night. Even if there's some terrible stench in your bedroom, you won't notice it. I'm sure my dog is relieved to hear that. The color of your dreams seem to be affected by the TV you watched as a kid. If it was black and white, you probably see monochrome dreams more often than not. If you're used to color television, your dreams are likely to be colorful. Hmm. What kind of dreams did people in the Middle Ages have then? Nights that say need? Your heart can give you away when you lie by starting to beat faster. Women's hearts are usually smaller than men's. That's why they have to work harder and make more beats. Otherwise, they won't be able to pump enough blood. Even if you brush your teeth twice a day and never forget about mouthwash, your mouth still remains one of the dirtiest parts of your body. Millions of bacteria live there. The good news is that most of them are good for your health. They protect your body from bad bacteria and viruses. The second dirtiest place is your belly button. You don't really use it after you were born. So this forlorn area accumulates all kinds of germ, sweat, and dirt. The belly button has over 2,300 bacterial species, and it does need extra attention. They say eyes don't grow with the rest of the body. Well, it's not 100% true, because the eyes aren't fully developed until you're about 21. But the absolute growth champions here are your ears and nose. They never stop growing. Wow, what was that thing about elephants again? Must have been a different video. If all your blood vessels were stretched into a single line, dang, you would be in a really tough spot. But they would go round the earth four times. You can't tickle yourself, no matter how hard you try. You've just checked that and failed, haven't you? That's because your brain warns you that you're about to be tickled, which it can't do if it's someone else. <laughs> Ever wondered why you feel so sleepy after lunch? One of the reasons is your circadian rhythm, which runs on a 24-hour cycle. It demands that you have a nap 7 hours after waking up. And the food just adds to this effect. As simple as that. Oh, excuse me, it's time. You can't recall a memory all by itself. When you're trying to think of one detail, like the color of the t-shirt your friend was wearing the other week, you'll remember some other details too. For example, the place where you saw him, things you were talking about. The hippocampus is the part of your brain that stores memories. It usually packs them together, including multiple small details. On average, taste buds last 10 days. Clusters of sensory cells in your tongue. The buds that are closer to the surface are more short-lived. That's the reason you don't have to wait for too long to be able to taste again after burning your tongue. One theory says deja vu is some sort of a brain processing lag. Scientists think it might happen when your brain is transferring information from one side to the other, and there's a split-second delay in that process. That means that your brain gets the same information twice and processes it as the event that happened before. Only 30% of people can flare their nostrils, and one-third can bend their thumb backward. 
Some people can produce a roaring noise in their heads. All they have to do is tense their ears or jaws. There's a small muscle in the ear. It dampens loud sounds, like when you're chewing. But some people can flex that muscle, and that creates an audible rumble. Your fingertips are sensitive, but hundreds of times less so than your lips. You inhale lots of different types of debris, including 700,000 of your own skin flakes, and that's only in a day. A hypnic jerk is a twitch you can experience when falling asleep. It's an abrupt muscle movement that comes during the non-REM sleep phase. It can create an illusion of falling. One of the theories is that, when you're dozing off, your brain sees the relaxing of your muscles as a sign you're in trouble and really falling. So it sends signals to the muscles to protect you by tensing up. Synesthesia is a special and rare ability where people can taste music or hear colors. Only one in every 2,000 people has it. For some people, cilantro may taste similar to soap because the plant contains a chemical used in soap making. But only 4 to 14% of the world's population have special genes that can detect it. 18% of people can move both ears at the same time, while 22% can move one ear at once. People who do it use weak vestigial muscles we got from the ancestor humans, who had this in common with cats. Bruises change their color over time. A bruise appears because there's bleeding under the skin. Tiny blood vessels get crushed, and some blood gets trapped in there. In the beginning, a bruise is red because the blood is rich in oxygen, but then it turns purple, green, yellow, or even gray when the levels of oxygen drop. Sweat doesn't smell itself. The unpleasant odor is caused by bacteria on your skin. When sweat comes out of the pores on your body, the bacteria breaks it down into acids. What most deodorants actually do is get rid of the bacteria on your skin. People used to dream in black and white much more than today. That's because they watched black and white TV. Blue cheese is another thing that affects your dreams and makes them more vivid. Eggshells might be used for growing new human bones. Chicken eggshells contain calcium carbonate, which is something you also have in your bones. The food on the plane is likely to taste different than on the ground. That's because you lose up to 30% of your taste bud sensitivity due to the dryness and pressure in the cabin. It's especially true about salty and sweet foods. Your nostrils don't work with the same efficiency all the time. When you breathe, one nostril does most of the work, and they switch every couple of hours. You wouldn't be able to taste food without saliva. Your taste buds have chemo receptors that recognize different flavors, but they need some liquid for those flavors to bind into their molecules. Also, you can't taste things saliva doesn't dissolve. The brain can't actually feel pain. It does have a pain center, but it doesn't have pain receptors itself. When your head hurts, you can feel it because of the nerves, tissues, and blood vessels around your brain. A single human hair can support 3.5 ounces of weight. That's how much two candy bars weigh. Toenails grow almost four times more slowly than fingernails that get more exposure and are used more frequently. There must be at least some photos where you have red eyes. When the camera's flash goes off, your eyes aren't prepared for such an influx of light. Your pupils remain dilated, which is why the light gets reflected off the red blood vessels of the choroid. This is a layer of tissue at the back of your eye that nourishes your retina. The right lung is bigger than the left one because your body needs to make some room for the heart. Your teeth are the only part of your body that can heal itself. Now, nobody really knows why we need the appendix, but it's always at the back of the book. Wait, wrong appendix. Some researchers claim the human appendix helped our ancestors process the tree bark and whatever they were eating at that time. As we have a way more balanced diet now, the appendix can disappear from our bodies without any consequences. Another purposeless thing in our bodies is the wisdom teeth. Yeah, they used to come in handy when dentists didn't exist, but now we can ideally make do without them. Your brain will grow by roughly 2% if you venture into space. Under normal gravity, it's thought that fluid in the brain naturally moves downwards when we stand upright. But there is evidence that microgravity prevents this, resulting in fluid accumulation in the brain and skull. 
When you age, your brain is gradually reducing in size. By age 75, it's much smaller than at age 30, and it starts shrinking at 40. It happens to everyone, so you just have to go with it and keep your brain busy and nimble. If you stare into your eyes in the mirror, you'll see a small pink circle settled in the corner of your eye. This is your third eyelid. Useless for us, but valuable for animals, like birds, to keep dust and scattered debris from getting into their eyes. This might sound familiar to you if you've heard of natural selection. In short, natural selection keeps body parts throughout generations, but some of them are harmful, so they're phased out in the next generation and others that aren't staying, just like the third eyelid. Not only your brain shrinks as you get older, you too shrink dramatically. The bones get more brittle, the backbone gets compressed. It works vice versa too. When you rest at night, your bones kind of relax too, so you wake up taller than when you went to bed last night. Our ears help us keep the balance, so hearing isn't their only duty. Our vestibular system occupies the inner ear. Canals in your inner ear contain fluid and tiny sensors that look somewhat like hairs, helping you keep your balance. As for hairs, only a few body parts aren't covered with them. These are palms, the soles of the feet, and lips. Hairs grow even in the belly button. Their purpose is to catch lint. Mine does a great job. And not only lint, our belly buttons have an entire animal encyclopedia in them, with a range of about 70 different bacteria. Some of them can also be found in soil in Japan, and even some bacteria typical for polar ice caps. See? You have a whole naval expedition going on and didn't even know it. Only about 43% of you is you. You're over 50% tiny little creatures that mainly live in your gut and other body parts without ever leaving it. Still, even though your cells are fewer than microbial ones, there are, on average, about 100 trillion of them in you. With this in mind, your genes are less than half of what you consist of. If you take all the microbes dwelling within your body and count their genes, it'll be anywhere from 2 to 20 million genes and their combinations. If you sleep, and I recommend that you do, it doesn't mean all of your body sleeps. In fact, sometimes your brain has to work even harder when you're asleep. It needs to process tons of information, and reports usually take time. One thing that indeed rests while you're sleeping is your nose. You won't smell anything nasty in your sleep. The thing is that your sense of smell deactivates at night. If there's some terrible smell in your bedroom, you won't even be bothered. Scientists used to believe we could distinguish around 10,000 smells. Nope. Recent research showed that people could indicate more than a trillion smells. We also remember them better than anything else, and odors can even evoke some distant memories. Meanwhile, our strongest and most emotional memories are usually fake. It's the way the central memory works. It gives us the confidence to believe everything we remember is real, even though we should be confident about fewer details. Now, you don't mind if I call you a mammal, do you? Well, among us mammals, only humans can always walk on two hind limbs and keep that posture for their entire lives. You may want to say that kangaroos or gorillas move in the same way, but kangaroos use their tail as a third leg, and gorillas use the help of their long arms to keep balance. Your bones take part in metabolism, too. Since they mainly consist of calcium, when there's not enough of this element in your blood, bones start shedding it into the bloodstream, balancing your body. And vice versa, when there's too much calcium in your blood, it goes into the bones to be stored for later. Our height, shape of our body, and skin color depend a lot on where our ancestors used to live. But we can adapt to new conditions even within our lifespan. For example, if you move from the plains to the mountains, you'll eventually develop more red blood cells to compensate for the lack of oxygen. And naturally, if you drive from a colder climate to a hotter and sunnier one, your skin will change pigmentation slightly to adapt. Our lifespan is programmed within our cells. They constantly renew and divide, but they have a sort of internal timer that stops at some point. Some cells also stop reproducing sooner than others. On average, cells cease dividing when we reach the age of 100. If we find a way to trick ourselves into turning off the timer, we could potentially live forever. But we'd be a huge mass of wrinkles by then. <laughs> 
Body fat acts as insulation material, energy reserve, and shock absorber. Your body sends the most fat into your waist region because that's where your internal organs are. If something happens to you, this layer of fat might as well protect those organs from serious damage. Your skull isn't a single bone. It consists of 22 different bones, many of which are fused to protect your brain. The mandible, or the lower jaw, is the only skull bone that's only attached to your head with connective tissues and muscles. This is what makes it so mobile. You can move it in any direction you like. And the smallest bone in your whole body is inside your ear. It's called the stapes, and it's no larger than a grain of rice. Some of the strongest muscles in your body aren't in your arms or legs. They're in your head. The masseter is the primary muscle responsible for chewing, and it needs to be the strongest for you to eat normally. And you know those muscles that allow you to move your ears? Those are temporalis, located above your temples. They also help you to chew your food. We've got two really fast muscles. They control the eyelids opening. In fact, they're the fastest muscles in our body. Eyes are fragile and need protection. So when the reflex is triggered, these muscles shut the eyes within less than a tenth of a second. We recognize only purple-blue, green-yellow, and yellow-red colors. Everything else is a combination of these three. It's impossible to calculate how many of these combinations the human eye sees because every single person has slight vision differences. But it's about 1 million combinations on average. Your stomach has an impressive capacity, holding up to a half a gallon of liquids, a whole large bottle of Coke. It's pretty hard to estimate how much hard food you can squeeze into your stomach since the food is processed with your teeth before it gets down there. There's not enough room for a whole turkey, but who knows, probably a good-sized chicken might fit it. And hey, like my grandmother said, there's always room for ice cream. Now, show me where your stomach with all that cola, chicken, and ice cream is. If you're pointing at your tummy, nope, it's up there, hidden in between your ribs. Your tummy is full of intestines.